Hey guys, it's that random dude, and today I'll be bringing you with another tutorial video because I'll be showing you how to install Final Burn Alpha on your PS Vita. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel as it will really help out. And without further ado, let's get started. So, um, this app right here, Final Burn Alpha, is a MAME emulator. So you can play, I think, um, Capcom PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, um, all sorts of like arcade games. And you can install it from the PS Vita Homebrew browser, which I will have a link in the which I'll have linked in the description below. Um, so yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, you want to go to emulators and you want to scroll down till you find um, PFBA Final Burn Alpha and it will say here so you got all of this stuff available so of course if you guys have been in the emulation scene for a while you know that MAME is sort of a big um, mainly sort of mobile arcade machine emulator, so there's tons of things to emulate here. But the most noble, but the most noticeable ones are Capcom PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, and Neo Geo. So you can play all those games. You might need a BIOS for Neo Geo. I have not tried that Neo Geo yet, but I'll be showing you how to play um, Capcom PlayStation One and PlayStation Two games. Um, so to get the um, so to get the ROMs, you can just do a quick Google search. I will not link the ROMs in the, in the description, but a quick Google search for some main ROMs will sort you out. Actually, I think I have only just Capcom PlayStation in two games, but um, yeah. So you want to pop them in your folder here, PFBA and ROMs. Here I have Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, and I'll just quickly get a game here. So I'll put. I'll take King of Fighters 95. And you can just quickly pop it into your Fire Burn Alpha. So you, all, you will also need Vita Shell with this, but that should come with your Henkaku firmware. So yeah, you just want to pop that in your ROMs folder, just like that. And now that you've got your ROM. You wanna quickly hop you wanna hop onto PFBA and just wait for it to load up. And so we'll show your games here. So if you if the game is highlighted red then you don't it's not available to play. Um, there's a whole sort of database here. I'll just quickly go to the um, ROMs I have, so Um, here we are, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes. So this is a game that I put onto it. Um, if you want to start, you just want to click X. And it is loading the game. <clears throat> um, might take a while depending on what game you have. This game is on 20 megabytes, so it doesn't take forever. Uh... So you want to click select to insert your coin. Don't worry, you don't need to. You don't need to whip out real quarters like you do in a natural arcade. Um, yeah. And this is the game. Um. So I was just quickly show some gameplay right here. I'm not. I'm not the best, but. It will do for this video, I guess. Um, so you want to click Select Star L and R to bring up the options menu. So here, from here, you can click Emulation. You can um, use all these settings, uh, the effects for like you know, screen, uh, joypad. You might want to use this for some Capcom fighting games like Street Fighter, because these controls will be sort of mushed up. I've uh, got save states, so you can, you know, make your save states and all that. Oh. Um, 
Oh, you got return. Oh, and if you want to exit your game, just click exit and you'll be back here. So I'm going to try and find my Neo Geo game. Um. Oh. No. So the one I put on it was King of Fires 95. So. Yeah. Here we are, the King of Fires 95. Loading the game. So yep, Neo Geo games will also work with this. There we go. Oh, it comes up as Universe Bio, so you can add your cheats and all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to do that here, but yeah. Do do. So actually, you don't need a BIOS because I didn't install a BIOS. Um. So of course, likewise, you can change up your controls. I always quickly change them here. That's good. Um, so this is King of Fires 95. Pretty old game, actually. Still can be fun to play, I guess. Um, so, of course, likewise with Marvel vs. Capcom, um, this one's full speed. Um, and of course you got all the saying so you got new bios you can change that although I recommend it to say universe bios because you can um, change the version of your Neo Geo game so yes yeah, so if you want to go arcade you can if you want to go home console you can um, you can also use cheat codes in that oh actually I'll yeah so there's the um, cheat codes here for Neo Geo games um, so yeah, so depending on the game, there'll be different cheats. So here you got like size, you know, Mega Rouge, um, and yeah, just stuff like that. And yeah, so that's just a quick. Uh, that was just a quick little um, tutorial on how to get main running on your PS Vita. If you guys found this video helpful in any way possible, um, make sure to just drop a like and please subscribe to this channel. It'll really help me out. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. So, have a good day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.